All right, Happy New Year's, everyone. My name is Sui. Uh, welcome back. Um, today we're just doing a anime review. Technically, I just finished watching Violet Evergarden. It was like, um, let's see, I'd say less than five minutes ago, actually. So yeah, you know, you probably are asking, what are you doing on a New Year's Day watching Violet Evergarden? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, all I can tell you is I was crying the whole day. Okay, so Violet Evergarden is, um, one of those animes you probably should never pass up. Uh, if you guys ever get the chance, please go watch it. Um, because, um, personally this is one of those, uh, those few animes, right? Where, um, it will change your life. It will change the way, um, you'll think about life, actually. Heck, this is one of the most, uh, beautifulest and, um, uh, most wholesome, most sad, um, enemies you'll come across. So, uh, I, I watched the, um, episode by episode one, so it was the 13th episode one. So, um, if you're wondering, you know, what Violet Evergarden is about, um, I'll, I'll tell you, you know, uh, without any spoilers, of course. Um, let's see, what, what do I remember off the top of my head? Um, so, Violet Evergarden. Uh, it's about this world where um, it's basically like two countries going at it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a war, basically. And the main character is Violet Evergarden. And she was um, just basically raised to be like a child soldier basically and uh she was raised to be emotionless you know she has no feelings like emotionally wise and all she knows in life is uh just fighting and battling and you know she she, she made a reputation for herself pretty much on the battlefield and um the person in charge of her uh uh I, I don't quite remember his name. It's like Major Gilbert or something. But um basically um after a battle, you know, Violet uh pretty much loses him uh to the war. Uh she he he was the only person you know ever to like how do she was like the only close person to her uh she was ever attached to that one person which is the major and um she's taken under the wing of a of one one of the major's friend and he has taken her in to work as a pretty much a auto memory doll which in their verse which means to be it's basically like a writer right so uh she's like really bad at writing letters right now simply because she doesn't understand any feelings so her job as the auto memory doll is to like write help write letters for people that can't that they don't know how to write basically and or they don't know how to express their feelings so uh their job is to like help them write a letter to be sent to someone and um Violet, um, wants, you know, to take up this job so she can understand, like, what, uh, the Major said to her before he died, which is, uh, I love you, and she doesn't know what that means. She, she doesn't know what I love you means, and she doesn't understand the definition of it, so, um, her idea was to, like, you know, uh, to work with, to work in a job where, like, you have to understand people's feelings and um so she she worked as a, a writer in order to like to to understand the major's feelings so um wow i am i'm about to cry again holy shit um yeah it is uh definitely one of those animes uh, you want to watch probably just sitting down alone probably uh because I mean, unless you're fine with crying in front of people, um, I would highly recommend watching this uh, sh show by yourself. But um, it's always good to have someone with you and watch someone else cry besides yourself. 
But yeah, um, I've never come across an anime where, um, besides the first episode, you, you're gonna cry in every other episode, and every episode after that. I, I guarantee you're gonna cry. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is one of the greatest, um, animes I've watched in a good while. If you like animation, you know, um, top tier animation. Uh, I haven't watched the movie, I haven't watched OVA yet, but, um, I'm planning on watching that by myself later. And also, um, this movie isn't just, like, you know, it goes over a lot of things. Let's see. So, I, I, a good way to put it is that this, uh, why did I say movie? It's not a movie. I'm not talking about the movie. I'm talking about the, uh, the 13th episode anime. Okay. Well, it, it talks about, um, so, oh, fuck. How do I put this? So, so this, um, uh, anime, you know, goes through, and basically, what well, we're going along, uh, the, basically, her life to understand, uh, and watch her grow into a human being with emotions, and, um, yeah, uh, you know, a quick fact, you know, you know, Violet Evergarden is armless literally armless uh she 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 lost both her arms to war which is horrific and because uh, it, it does show you later in the anime how she loses it which is i personally was very curious and um very gruesome uh wow uh, and okay okay back to the actual part uh so this anime it it, it goes through like so many like topics that I think a lot of people need to hear about. Um, it goes through uh, basically why why it's important uh, to to keep living, you know, um, the importance of life, uh, how uh, well love obviously, and lots of other. Oh, definitely BTSD for sure, you know, you can't have a war show without BTSD. Not not to take off anything from it, I just think they did it really beautifully, and I can't express it in words. And, man, wouldn't it be nice right now to have an auto-memory doll right now to write out my script? But no, I, I'm just doing this off my head. But, yeah, guys, uh, if, if, you're, if you're wanting to cry all day and feel good afterwards, too, Keep just how beautiful it is. Um, it it is. This is the go-to anime. It like you don't have to wait for a build up. You don't have to wait for anything. You just got to get through episode one, and I guarantee you, you will cry your eyes out like me. And wow, I've been talking for eight minutes already. But yeah, um, let let's talk about something else in this. So um, well, let me just tell you episode one. So. She, she basically, um, after the war, right? Oh, just just so you know, uh, she's only 14. So imagine going to war as a child. That That is awful. And I, yeah, there's some really awful people in there. Like the people that were in charge of her, like throwing her on the battlefield and raising her as a soldier, as a weapon. I, they, they, they called her a tool the whole entire time. And uh, they sent her in and... Man, it is so beautiful every single episode watching Violet, you know, you grow and understand human emotions and understanding that she's in pain also. Even though uh, in the beginning she says, you know, she 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 doesn't understand feelings, basically. She doesn't she doesn't have emotions and it's pretty awful that. Well, that what she went through was absolutely sad. Oh my god, I am still wanting to cry. But, um, yeah. Violet Evergarden, guys. If you guys want to, you know, have a great time crying for good, great reasons, you know, and learn some valuable life lessons, Violet Evergarden is one of those animes you cannot skip in life. Man, watch it, guys. Um, I highly recommend. 10 out of 10, actually. You know, um, let's see, it, this will definitely go on, like, Violet Evergarden is probably, like, my top five 
of all time anime in my, in my, in my books, obviously. But yeah, guys, um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys enjoyed it or not. I'm just glad you guys watched it all the way through. Um, to all those people, thank you very much. And Happy New Year. Have a great New Year. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.